Hello and welcome to the 1EDI Source Educational Series. Today we're going to be looking at the basics of reading an EDI document. Uh, specifically we're going to be looking at an 850 document or a purchase order from a major US retailer, but the concepts we discuss and the terminology we discuss uh, really apply to any ANSI X12 EDI transaction that you might come across, including things like the invoice, uh, advance ship notices, healthcare claims, uh, routing requests, and so on. Okay, let's begin. The first terminology that we need to understand is segments and elements. A segment is simply one line of data. So this is the first segment, this is the second segment, this is the third segment and so on. Now you'll notice that each segment has a two or three character uh, code at the beginning of each line. And so this is called the segment identifier. So in this case the first segment is the ISA segment, the second segment is the GS segment, and the third segment is the ST segment. So now that we understand segments, what is an element? Well, an element is just a piece of data within a segment. And you can see that um, we've got some pieces of data within this document that are separated by an asterisk. So each of these pieces of data are called an element. Elements are also numbered in the segment. So this is the first element this is the second element, and so on. Now it's important to note that in some segments you'll notice that we've got two delimiters with no data in between. Uh, you still count this element when you're describing an EDI document. So in this case, um, this is the first element of the BEG segment, the second, the third, and then this one is the fourth. So we don't skip empty elements, we count them. So to link all these concepts together, you will typically receive an implementation guide from your trading partner that describes all the EDI documents they expect you to send and receive from them. In that implementation guide, they will describe every segment as well as every element that they choose to utilize. Now remember, you're not required to use every segment and every element. You can pick and choose uh, based on your particular business needs. But your trading partner will specify the segments and elements that are mandatory uh, in order to uh, transmit documents to them. So within Within the implementation guide, um, they will tell you things like the purchase order number is transmitted in the BEG segment. So all that means is you want to find the BEG segment in your document. And then specifically they'll say it's in the third element. So again, you'll just count over three uh, delimiters and you will find your purchase order number. Um, they will describe every single element and segment that you see here so that you will understand exactly where each important piece of information is transmitted. Well that wraps up this episode of the One EDI Source Educational Series. I hope you found it helpful. If you'd like additional information please visit oneedisource.com and you can download our EDI 101 guide with that goes in much more depth uh, with the topics that we discussed today. Thanks for watching.